Learning is a marathon, not a sprint. Someone. I forgot who. I've been asked a couple of times in the comments, what is the language learning app that I use to learn kanji? And the answer to that is simply Wani Kani. Now, if that's all you really want to know, you can turn off the video here now. Just uh, don't forget to hit that like button right there and possibly subscribe too. But if what you really want to know is how is Wani Kani or what is Wani Kani, then stick around for a little bit and I'll explain that. Wani Kani is a Japanese kanji learning site made by Tofugu, which also has a lot of other Japanese learning resources. So there's a couple of ways to learn kanji. One way is to learn the words associated with kanji and practicing those over and over. Now, that might work for some people, but the problem with that is that there are over 2,000 kanji to learn, and that's quite a bit. On top of that, multiple kanji are shared between words and are homophones, which can make things confusing really quickly. So a more efficient way to learn is by studying the smaller parts of the kanji, called radicals. Learning the simpler radicals and kanji first before the more complicated looking ones is probably the better way to go. This is what Wanikani does. It divides its materials in 60 levels, which teaches over 2,000 kanji and over 6,500 vocabulary words commonly used in Japan today. SRS stands for Space Repetition System. Basically how this works is, after you learn something, time passes before you're given a review. If you get the kanji right during the review, it'll take a little bit longer for that kanji to show up again in another review. The more times you get the kanji right, the longer and longer it'll take for it to show up again. That might sound counterintuitive if you're used to repeating the same thing over and over again in a short amount of time, which does work, but you're likely to burn out faster. What the SRI system does is it trains your long-term memory to remember what you learned. So basically, if you get something wrong now, the review will come sooner. And if you get something right, it'll show up again just before, statistically speaking, you will probably forget that kanji. You always have the option to review what you learned at any time, but it won't count towards unlocking more kanji. You unlock more kanji to learn when you can consistently get them right during a review. The good thing about this is that you're not likely to be overwhelmed when you're first starting out and can learn a little bit of kanji at a time. While waiting might not be for everyone, it does give you something to look forward to when you're doing other things. Because of the relatively relaxed pace and how SRS works, it gives your brain some time to simmer before the next review. As you do better in the reviews, you'll get more kanji and more vocabulary. While studying, you can add notes to each kanji to help you remember them and synonyms to fill in the holes that Wani Kani might have. Basically, Wani Kani has set definitions for each kanji, but it's not exactly comprehensive. So if you know another way to say the same thing, type it in. It helps quite a bit. This is especially helpful if certain mnemonics don't make sense or if you know certain kanji by other meanings. As mentioned before, the main problem some people might have with Wani Kani is that you have to wait for reviews. For people who are used to speeding through material or already know some material beforehand, this can be a little bit frustrating. Specifically for those with prior knowledge, you may have to unlearn things in order to progress through the lessons such as knowing how certain kanji are pronounced versus what they mean and the pronunciation for that. One particularly annoying thing for me personally is losing marks for spelling and typos. I get it. Spelling by how it sounds is important, but I feel they could remind you of weird little things such as vowel elongations and double consonants, you know, before they mark you wrong. Another thing to keep in mind is that you won't learn grammar. You have to learn that elsewhere. One huge hurdle for people though is the cost of the program after the first three levels. It's not cheap but it's cheaper than classes and fairly effective if you stick with the program. For me, Wani Kani has been a fairly good experience overall. In just about two months, I've gone from zero to level seven, 
which is about 210 kanji and about 700 vocabulary words. And for the most part, I'm remembering most of them. I do miss some every once in a while, but that's part of the process. It's also a much faster pace than what I could do on my own with other resources, and it doesn't feel overwhelming. Do keep in mind that the program usually takes one to two years to finish. If you want to check out other kanji and grammar learning resources, see the description below. And if I miss any resources that might be helpful, please let me know in the comments. More than any specifics with any program, you have to ask yourself why you want to learn. My goals personally are simple. Read manga, games, doujins, and eventually probably hopefully live in Japan. In the meantime, I'm going to keep making videos to make myself and you feel better about learning this language. Because seriously, the struggle is real and f kanji and grammar. But it is fun.